So the doorbell is not working. And this one is seized up in here, right here. So this one can't go up and back down. So it'll be like ding dong. So in other words, it'll hit the top one and then it'll come down and hit this one. That's where you get your ding dong, but like this one is the rear. So look. So that's the one. So what we could do is we can take this front wire and put it on the rear screw and we'll just have a a regular ding. But if we take this piece out here, we just take this out right here, it'll go down and back up. Or you can just replace the whole thing and just get a new one from your local store or order it on eBay, Amazon, wherever, you know, you can find it. So mine was making a buzzing sound. So when you hit the doorbell, it'll be like, bzzz, bzzz. let me see if I can show you guys what it's doing. Hold on one second here. Let me see if I can get to it. One second. That's what I'm getting. So, if I take this screw here, let's do this. Let's take this one off of here, like this. Let's go over here. It's a little tight here. There we go. Sorry about that. Trying to look and see this at the same time. Oh, hold on. Back some more. All right. This is low voltage, so it ain't gonna hurt you. I get that to stay down in there like that. Enough time for me to screw this back on. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to hit the button. See, we got one. So you can see the, let's back and get this up there so y'all can see what's going on. And that's what we got. That's an easy fix for you. All right, catch you on the next one. And please subscribe.